Many things in life, whether man-made or natural, follow a normal distribution. In this video, we're going to look at converting them to the standard normal. The graph here shows the standard normal distribution, so we've got a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. We've also got two other normal distributions. The standard normal can be given, and we will define this as z, and we will say z follows a normal distribution with mean 0 and a variance of 1. We can take a general normal distribution and state x, which will be a random variable, will follow a normal distribution now with mean of mu and a variance of sigma squared. Remember, the variance is the square of a standard deviation. If we want to convert this one into a standard normal, all we state is that z is equal to x minus mu divided by sigma. Or, if you prefer, z is equal to x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. We simply plug this in, find the value that we're looking for, and read it off from our standard normal table. So let's look at some examples of this. So the first one here, we're told the random variable x follows a normal distribution with mean of 30 and variance of 2 squared. So in this particular case, if the variance is 4, then the standard deviation is 2. So if we put this up here, we can say mu is going to be equal to 30, and we can say now sigma is going to be equal to 2. We know if we want to convert this, we can write z is equal to x minus mu, which is 30, divided by the standard deviation, which is 2. So all I'm going to do is use this on these two cases and use our standard normal to find the values we want. So let's look at part A. All I'm going to do is plug this in. So I'm going to say Z, then I'm going to put in now 33. So we're going to have 33 minus 30 divided by 2. That's going to give me now Z is going to be 1.5. Plugging that in, what I can now say is the probability that Z is going to be less and 1.5 will give me the required value. All I'm going to do is go and look this up now in the standard normal chart. So what we're looking for now is phi of 1.5. So phi of 1.5 will give me that. If you want to draw a sketch up on here, you're more than welcome to do so. So let's get that. And where's 1.5? So 1.1.5, where are we? Just there. So 0 0.9332. So 0 0.9, 0 0.9, double three, two. And nice and straightforward, we've just converted it. OK, let's look at the next one. We want the probability now that x is greater than 26. So making the substitution, I can now say z, and I'm going to put this in instead, and I'm going to put 26 in. So what we're going to have then is 26 minus 30 divided by 2. So what we've now got, we can see in here, converting this, z will be equal to minus, that's going to give me minus 4 over 2, which is going to be minus 2. All we need to do is plug this in. So what we're now looking for is the probability that z will now be, and we're given, greater than negative 2. So we want z greater than negative 2. So let's consider what we're looking at. We're looking at this area trapped under the curve to the right of negative 2. So let's put this just here, OK, and we can find that value. So this value right here is going to be negative 2. We want now the area trapped under the curve to the right of this line. The way I've presented this before is to look at it by going around the back of the curve. So if we look at what we've got, we're going to end up going around here. And you don't have to look at it like this. You might find it helpful. You might not. If we just look what we've got, we've got the shaded region. If I put on here now this point right here, this is going to be positive 2, and we're interested in the area trapped under the curve, the larger area, and this is going to be to the left of 2. Therefore, if I look up in my table now, phi of 2, this will give me exactly the same area. So let's look that up in a table. And we have got now down here, 0 0.9772. So 0 0.9772. So 
So there we go, nice and straightforward. All we're doing is converting these to the standard normal, finding the value, and then reading off.